Nikola Jokic just led the Denver Nuggets to their first NBA championship in history, and they didn't have a team of stars like some of these other super teams. In fact, on the path to the championship, they had to beat star-studded teams like the Suns with Kevin Durant and the Lakers with LeBron. So how did they do it? In this video, I'll show you exactly what Nikola Jokic did to lead his team to become NBA champions. But before I do, make sure to like and subscribe, and comment who or what topic I should cover next. This is Nikola Jokic after winning the championship and MVP trophy. We are not winning for ourselves, we are winning for the guy next to us. This is a great group of teammates. The entire speech, he didn't say anything about himself, but spoke only about his team. And this wasn't just some speech to make himself sound good. This is how he plays. He's known for being one of the best passers in the league, despite his scoring ability, and for being one of the best players in the league. But as the saying goes, talent wins games, teams win championships, which is true because there are many other talented teams. Jokic is a two-time MVP, but his teammates would be the fourth or fifth players on some of the other teams they played against. Yet he valued his team enough to pass the ball to them for game winners three, Monte. Winner! or assist his teammates when he could score himself. This is a crucial piece because if everyone on the team feels just as important and useful as the best player, everyone will play with confidence. And when everyone plays with confidence, rather than just passing it off to the best player every time, the team becomes well-rounded with multiple different threats, and that's difficult to Stop. The key thing that Nikola Jokic does is make everyone feel involved. I always say before the game, playing together is going to help us win the game. And he shines a spotlight on others. He held that MVP trophy for a total of five seconds, then spoke about his team for minutes. Jokic plays and makes winning games and championships about the team, not about himself. And when your leader does that, it eliminates all ego and causes everyone on the team to play for the team as well. And when a team does that, that's a team that will win a lot of games. But how do you cultivate the hunger to win more than just a lot of games, but to win a championship? This is Jokic after winning winning back-to-back -back MVPs. You still don't believe that you're among the best basketball players in this league? No, I don't, I don't believe that. I always think someone is better than me. You know, I want to compete to beat him. When people hear this, they may think that he's not confident and that it's a bad thing. But there's another sports saying that's also extremely true. Play like you're in first, train like you're in second. When you step on the court to compete, you have to play with the confidence that you're the best on the floor. However, that same mindset that helped you in competition is detrimental when it comes to training. If you think you're the best in training, you won't work as hard or give as much effort. Because why would you? You're the best. But if you train like there's someone ahead of you, if you train like there's someone working to take your spot, which there is, then you will work harder in training, continue to try to learn and improve, and strive to get better every day. And that's what Jogic did. He was the 41st pick in the NBA draft, but now he's the two-time MVP and NBA champion. So if you work like an underdog and play for your team, you might just get a championship ring. That was corny, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was corny.